D-Class, it is I, the great Dr. Bright. Here to continue... ...doing this. We will continue reading the SCP visual novel. Is something wrong? If you don't like it, you can try something else. Mm, yummy! <laughs> My god. <laughs> uh, okay. And she started to eat every single thing on the table. The fish, the rice, etc. Jesus, for a girl with a normal physique, her appetite is great. Oh no, that is so mean. Okay. That was amazing. It feels like I have extra energy. Yeah, that's the point of the breakfast. Indeed. Okay, I have to show you something. Follow me. Okay. I have to get something from my room. Come in and sit. I'll find it soon. Okay. I kind of don't like what's going on. <laughs> My character says the same thing. Okay. That photo again. I want to see it. It feels like this cliche, don't click the red button. You click it and you don't know why, but it, it happens nonetheless. I was about to see what was in the photo, but she screamed. Stop! Immediately! Oh, sorry. But this photo has to be hidden. And... I cannot let anyone see her. Ah. Got another turn turntables. Return. Oh come on, this this is for nothing will happen. Stop now and apologize. We'll, we'll stop now and apologize. I'm sorry. No problem. You don't need to apologize. Then from nothing, they lost the flip photo from their eyesight. Oh gosh. What? What? What did you do? I I did nothing. Then who? That's not funny. You know it was a picture connected with that room, which was the containment breach for SCP-106, but he is dangerous. But that was a photo of his old place. How can a single photo of a place possibly be something bad? And again, the photo just dropped by itself. I think you already know my abilities, plus this content on the photo. He can easily come for us. Okay, now I'll change myself because really nothing happens for now, and that's my room, so I want to be in comfy outfit. Okay. In some way, a spray of blood in the photo came pouring out. My vision was drowned in the color red. I stumbled, staggered like a man gone drunk for falling un unconscious. Conscious. The air, my surroundings, and everything is different. And what's this nauseating stench, denser than anything I've ever smelled before? Oh no, deja vu. I'm transported or teleported again. Okay, now I'm in the room from the photo. I saw every single furniture in the room. The light had fallen from the ceiling and shattered. Oh shit, blood again. But from where is it coming from? Okay, let's check the blood trail. Maybe that's the source of the stench. It's so abnormal. I've never smelled anything like that in peaceful Japan. And I saw probably the same body from the photo. A man leaning against the wall covered in blood. His legs stretched out in front of him. Ah, uh, what the hell? Are you for real? If she was right, this guy, is he dead? In any case, there was no way he would have survived. I don't know why, but I can see that his legs and hands are twisted in unnatural angles. I'm not a doctor, but I'm sure that these wounds are fatal. But somehow he's alive? What? 
Hey, can you understand me? His eyes... He eyed me through a strands of bloody bangs plastered to his face. Run. Run. Iris, run. He is coming for us. Shit, I don't know what's going on and why I have to run, but... Hey, are you okay? Hey, 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 do, 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 do you mind stepping back a bit? Please, say something. Hey, say something. Once again, I was teleported. Oh, what the- again? That was... Okay, okay, take some deep breaths. What happened? Can you tell me? Do you remember? I think she needs some deep breaths because she was so close and holding me so tight against her chest. Get off of me! <laughs> I was lying on the floor and her boobs left exposed by her. I mean her breath. Oh, come on! I hastily put some distance between us. I slid on my butt all the way to the wall. Hey, are you okay? Oh, sorry, wait. After she calmed and changed herself. The facts I observed are as follows. You have just disappeared from this room for 12 to 10 of seconds. This photo seems to attract you before my eyes. That was... she said while twirling her finger in the air. This... this... do you have a sister? A twin sister? Why are you asking me questions like these at the moment? Oh, um, never mind. Shocked. I tried to touch your animated image in the photo. Although you seem to be moving, my eyes may still be lying to me. I want to make certain things. Although I made all these things sound like a wise plan, it was pure impulse, not conscious consideration. Okay. Was I really in the photograph? Come to think of it, I felt the same sense when I was teleported into this research facility at first. By the way, it's suspicious how this photo just slipped off the wall. Okay, let's ask a trustworthy researcher about the situation. Wonderful. Oh no! <laughs> she sounds loud. The young man looks like he, he teleported in. His face was like, yeah. <laughs> Iris, who is that? Who? Here are only I and you. Nah, I don't see anyone other. Okay, from that reaction, I already know you don't like him, right? Sorry to intrude now, but rest assured, you need not stand on guard, for I am not an assassin. Nor am I a ninja or a demon, let alone a magical girl or a ninja. Oh my god. How would you like me to look? I'll change instantly. My translation caller, maybe it's glitchy because when he said change, it sounded, it sounds weird. Dr. Bright! Jeez. That's my private room, please get out. What if, I don't, what if I want Bright to be in here? But my beautiful Iris, where is the problem? That boy too is here in your private room. Is he special for you? More special from your daddy? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Shut up, and you're not my father. Oh, you broke my heart, but I'm fine. Oh, come on. I'm exhausted. Please, just leave already. No problem, my little cute Iris. Jump in daddy's big hands and I'll cradle you to sleep while I sing you a sweet lullaby. Right? I swear to fuck. <laughs> if you make another suggestion that we are related, I will have to kick you in the face. Okay, maybe I went a bit too far. But it's strange, you've dragged the boy in your bedroom. Aren't you a little uptight when you're secretly part of those creatures? 
yeah boy the SCP are everything but not human hey then what are you dumbass <laughs> I told you I can be everything oh only if I was permitted to have a gun or a knife <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad to give you a rocket launcher. You are not funny. <laughs> I was I'm a little astonished because of that of that how these people can talk each other in that way. Yeah, you know, that sounds funny because I'm immortal, but you still want this, <laughs> Oh, I'm leaving. And by the way, I planted bugs in your room for Iris or SCP-105. No! Don't leave! Get rid of them first! Right now! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down, and if you continue like this, you will break the walls. Now! The joking aside, it's only natural for the foundation, for this facility, to keep mi the mysterious boy. No. You will become SCP-105-C tentative as the moniker may be under observation. Okay, now I have a str strange title or nickname. <laughs> I tried to come in while the photograph scene was in changing process, but those guys from the other personnel... I maybe have an idea how he is connected with you. But I have to do some experiments. Iris, please bring him to my lab tomorrow for the morning. After all, you can reject that invitation. But I'm the greatest mind in the entire SCP Foundation. I... Maybe. That's, that's a solid maybe, Bright. And, if you have to be serious, you can ask me anything and I'll explain from the very beginning to the very end. Oh, I didn't notice how late it was. Yeah, for some reason, every time that man is around you, he can steal too much of your time. Okay, so Iris just disappeared. Okay, it isn't that late, but tomorrow we will have to go into his lab, so it's time to sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Making excellent sound effects. That strange experience with, with the photograph was so exhausting. I just closed my eyes and in the next moment, I was with Iris for breakfast. By the way, you hear them, right? Wait. What? Hear who? <laughs> what? The Class D personnel and the Guard personnel. After yesterday. What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, anyone else but you and Bright. Yeah, it's like everyone already knew everything around me. If I am right, this facility is located somewhere in USA. Hey, why? Why there's a, is a Class C personnel? He's probably talking about you. Here. In this facility, we have classes and levels, so you see my ID card? She pulled her ID card to show me as she said. As you can see, I'm technically classified as a researcher. No matter, I'm SCP at the same time. Aren't you an MTF agent? And that means my class is D? Yes, you are with the, D, with the Class D uniform, but maybe soon you will get new class or something different because you're special. Special? I, I, I mean, the way it came here is special. That's it. Nothing more. Uh, sure. Okay. But you are totally not like them. The Class D personnel. The main group of them are prisoners or people like them. Uh, I yep. mean, when you was transported here, you were naked, so we couldn't leave you like that. And we changed you into a spare Class D uniform. Why the fuck was I naked? 
that's why this field agent wasn't informed about you and this and mistook you for a real class D personnel. Wait, I was n naked. Ah, uh, you know, I put it in a request, so I believe normal clothes should be delivered to you shortly. You can change later. Now we have to choose. Will we accept? the Dr. Bright's offer from the last night? Wait, that's it? That's it? No! You can't do that bullshit. Okay. Stop now and apologize. I think we're gonna have to skip a lot. Fuck! I was trying to save! Oh. Oh. Okay. He's probably. Okay. But you are totally. I mean, when you was. That's why this. Uh, now we have to choose. Will we? Save. There. Alright. Now we gotta go to the other parts that I didn't go to. Oh, hi, Jerry. <laughs> Overwrite your save. Yes. Wait. No! I fucked up! I fucked up! I thought I hit load. I thought I hit load. Okay. Alright, so I know how to do this. Oh, wait. Hey! No, no! Wait, wait, oh yeah. Yes. Alright, take the photo with you. Wait, no, back. Yeah, this is what I gotta do. Try to bring the photo back to the book. Aha! Alright, so we can now go back. Go back here. Put that there. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> now, there should be a new dialogue. Ah, where the fuck am I? <laughs> I found myself lost in some sort of facility. I am currently in a wing that can only be assumed to be an underground residential area. What is this thing on my neck? It feels weird when I try to say something. There was a strange girl staring at me, but this time she is in front of my eyes. Yes, that was the girl from the photo. Hello, I was looking for you. I was frozen. I didn't know exactly where I was. Siri wasn't there, and I was facing this girl. <laughs> Obviously, you're confused. Let me explain. Who tell? I'm part of this facility as SCP, and my number is 105. Every SCP has strange ability or something like that. But... I have a real name. I'm glad to meet you. My name is Iris Thompson. Uh, yeah, sorry, my name is Dr. Bright. <laughs> Gosh, I'm still mind blown. So your ability is some kind of teleporting using these photos? You are totally right. But now, come with me. What if I don't wanna? She grabbed my hand like I was her best friend or something. Now these guys, there are guard personnel, and they, you know, just guarding this area. Some of my SCP friends on this area, so hold on. Let me put that there. I will introduce you to them later. Oh really? Come, come. Why should I follow you? Why should I trust you? I just teleported from the library. Do I get a choice? 
We are going in my room. Many people here will say it's self, but I made it like it's normal girl room. I don't know, Ari, I like where it's going. I don't like where it's going. Or, as far as I can make it like that. I mean, I can't have that much stuff, which every girl has. <laughs> yeah, her room was a little barren. It wasn't what I imagined when I pictured a normal girl's room. I mean, a big room like the size of a classroom's. I only saw a simple wallpaper post on the wall, and the whole room consists of with a metal desk, a locker, a bed with a, with a pipe rack similar to what is in a hospital. The interior is pleasant. You're all trying to lure you into their bathroom, in their bedroom. Nothing sus. <laughs> right, Jerry. <laughs> After all, I'm a bit nervous. I'm in the girl's bed bedroom. I was focused on Iris. How are you used to making decisions in Japan? <laughs> that is... A weird question to ask. Throwing something. What, just throw at me. Wait, wait, wait. Don't ask me a normal question like that. I, I still can't understand where the hell am I. I don't know what, what was that, but obviously maybe that's why she asked me such a strange question. Because it's something she didn't want me to see. Maybe... Oh! 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 I'm not reading that last sentence. I'm not reading that last sentence. I'm not reading that last sentence. <laughs> By the way, bluntly put, there is only one bed in this room. It's, after all, my private room. And sleeping together would not, logically speaking, very desirable for either of us, would it? Oh no, don't make me have to choose. She's acting like I didn't ask something important. Therefore, it's imperative we determine who will obtain the right to sleep upon the bed. Do you understand? <laughs> sure, yeah, I read it. She's a bit, yeah. <laughs> but this is out of the question. It's your room. You have to sleep in your bed, and if I sleep here, I'll find where. I mean, no matter who you ask, I think everyone will be guilty if someone appears to enjoy a good night's rest while making you sleep on the floor. Mm-hmm. You're totally right. But now I'm really nervous because I'll be sleeping in the same room with a girl, which feels strange to me, and I really fall asleep when I hear her breathing. <laughs> This is not at all what the other run was like at all. I turned from a logical person to a fucking creep. <laughs> Worse than that. There now, instead of answering the question, she tried to make Bright feel like a creep if they wanted a pet. <laughs> it's a normal hormonal ice color. I didn't have much luck with girls. This situation was too much for me to handle. You're pretty shy, aren't you? I heard that you're pretty shy, aren't you? Do all Japanese come across this way? That is fucked up. <laughs> Hold on, Iris. You can't say that. You can't say that, Iris. <laughs> you know, it'll cost you the pervert. <laughs> Although she seemed dissatisfied with the situation, Iris pulled the blanket from the bed. She moves gently, took it, and threw it in my arms. It's too late to argue about the fine details of life. I'm exhausted, so I'm going to sleep. Sorry, please use the blanket on the sofa to sleep today. Alright. The first thing tomorrow, I want them to either provide you with an extra bed or set up a room for you. I want to change it to pajamas. Can you turn around? Yes. Why don't you just have me leave the room? Huh? 
Oh jeez, how did I end up in a situation? I can hear a sound of cloth rustling. I guess she was changing. They displayed an additional clock on the office desk, coincided with the day I went to the library. Am I being sent to the USA randomly? Well, I think this is good news. Just doing it on purpose. <laughs> okay, I'm just some type of... I'm just in some type of sci-fi movie. Maybe if I go to sleep, I'll wake at home. Wait, come to think of it. She was proud to be like a murder when she's a murder. <laughs> Wait, come to think of it. Iris was the girl in the photos. She was almost always holding a camera in the photos. <laughs> oh, she's already asleep. Prove me wrong. <laughs> I can't, Jerry. I didn't notice as I looked around the room. Gosh, I can't fall asleep. I saw a big amount of poor white pictures on her office desk. And I wanted to see them, and I got them quietly from the desk. I saw a beautiful landscape, for example. There was a Grand Canyon. As someone whose life was just home and school, I was a bit jealous of her. Okay, it's strange. I have to sleep. At least I saw a strange photo which was pinned reversed. Maybe she doesn't want me to see that photo. Okay, now it's time to try and sleep again. Good morning. Wow, this time there is someone who will hear my good morning. I'm not sure if this is back to what I already did. So, I mean, if it is. Then I'm back to the run I just did. Uh, um, good, good morning. Come on, make your bed. We go out. It feels like it's 7 a.m. or something. Let's check out. What? what it's it's 6:30 a.m. I don't like her. <laughs> Cheery. Okay, you guys are like army soldiers or something. Um. Are you kidding me? They sleep until maybe 5 a.m. I won't take it back. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's too early for me. It makes me feel like I'll go to school after an hour. And by the way, where are we going? And what do you mean by out? We are under the surface, aren't we? Uh, yeah, from the outside of my room, that's what I understand going out. If it says anything about a cafeteria, I've already went through this run, and I'll have to go to the other choice. Which means I've already beaten the game so far. Oh, and we are going for breakfast. Uh-huh. Hmm, that makes sense. Here we are, the cafeteria. Okay, so are you going to say the same thing before? And we have a bunch of premium foods and professional chefs. You know, when your work life is threatening. <laughs> what, you see the dominoes, Jerry? <laughs> By the way, we have never-ending pizza box. But because it's never-ending, we don't use it that much. I mean, it's class is safe, so you can use it if you have permission. Much cook. Okay. Okay, so basically it's going back to what it was before. So, there was another choice I got right here. It was this one right here. Oh, come on, it's just a photo. Nothing will happen. Well, it's a... Let's see. No! Uh, what in the world is this? It's not like I, I'm even sure what I can really see in this photo. It was like, I don't know, it was crimson red covered in paint or something. But after a moment I realize, is this blood? Oh gosh, now that's a problem. This is like a murder scene captured in a moment of death. In the photo you can clearly see an ordinary western style living room. It looks like... As if human legs grow out of the corner of the picture. Covered in bloody gashes and twisted unnatural angles. They probably belong to a corpse. 
That's a lot of trouble. Oh. Just maybe someone will be like that. Haha, <laughs> your neighbor wanna join the party, but that's not funny. Oh. You know it was a picture connected with that room, which was the containment breach for SCP-106, but he is dangerous. That was a photo of his old place. How can a single fo photo of a place possibly be something bad? I think you already know my abilities, plus this content on the photo. You can easily come for us. Okay, now I'll change myself because really nothing happened for now. And that's my room, so I want to be in comfy outfit. In some way, the spray of blood in the photo came pouring out. My vision was drowned in the color of red. I stumbled stacker like a man drunk before falling unconsciousness. Oh no, is Twitch fucking you over? Twitch! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Poor Shuri. The air, my surroundings, and everything is different. And what's this nauseating stench denser than anything I've ever smelled before? Oh no. Deja vu. I'm transported or teleported again. Okay, now I'm in the room from the photo. I saw every single furniture in the room. The light had fallen from the ceiling and shattered. Oh shit, blood again. But where is it coming from? Yeah, let's track the blood trail. Maybe that's the source of stent of the stench. It's so abnormal. I've never smelled something like that in peaceful Japan. Uh... Then I saw probably the same body from the photo. Maybe. That's probably what happened. A man leaned against the wall, covered in blood. His legs stretched out in front of him. Uh, uh, what the hell? Are you for real? Okay, she was right. This guy, is he dead? In any case, there's no way he would have survived. I don't know why, but I can see that his legs and hands are twisted in unnatural angles. But I'm not a doctor, but I'm sure that these wounds are fatal. But somehow he's alive. What? Hey, can you understand me? He had me through the strands of bloody bangs plastered to his face. Run. Run. Iris. Run. He is coming for us. Watch this bright sound Japanese in this game. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what's going on and why I have to run, but... Hey, are you okay? <laughs> Get away from me, Iris. It's not that close. Please, say something. Hey, say something. Once again, I was teleported. Okay, so... Right, is supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> so yeah, basically I've gotten... I've gotten through all the runs. Oh shoot, no, I did not mean to go back here. <laughs> no, no. Back. Hey, say something. No, that's not what I meant to do. No, uh, let's see. Let's go to that. There we go. Main menu. Yes. So you can see it's not done yet. <laughs> She's flashing you. <laughs> so 
so this game ain't done yet. I thought the game would be at least a bit longer. <laughs> Hold on. You can probably hear it already. Uh, but I've got Another SCP visual novel. Done. Wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, it's because it's not. Excuse me. Yes, thank you. Now let's all let's hold on. Let me go to game capture. Make that dark. There we go. Turn. There we go. Another SCP <laughs> visual novel. I I looked up SCP visual novel and I found this. It's the, yes, the sisters at Cheyenne Point. SCP 069-J. Which is an actual SCP, by the way. It, it, it's this game. So anyway, let's continue. Start game. Listen, Vinny. Don't be afraid. He'll be fine. Just keep calm, okay? Do as I told you, and everything will be fine. You can start your new life. Am I being isekai <laughs> Is that what's going on? <laughs> Did I die and become isekai <laughs> Did I become isekai Alright, uh, before I type anything up. I gotta go on Twitch and change it. No, I didn't want that fuck off Gmail. Oh, wait. Probably because I didn't put the. The. Sisters. At. J. M. Point. Okay, so this game does not exist on Twitch. So it does not exist. So I can't change it. But I can always change the stream title. 
It's almost time. Get ready. Don't be late on your first day. I... Yeah, I'm literally just being isekai, Jiri. Just being isekai. <laughs> Into an SCP universe. <laughs> April 3rd, redacted. 7 a.m. Cheyenne Point Academy, Main Gate 1. I'm Wilson. I'm Wilson Ben Bright. <laughs> I just moved to Cheyenne Point Academy. That is not my name. But all right. There was a terrible accident at my previous school. Oh. What? That was not a school. I'm pretty sure those prisoners were not from a school. Mental institution, maybe. A school, no. <laughs> it was one of the most horrible moments of my life. I don't want to remember that again. After that, my brother Jack told me I needed to move to another school. He said he found exactly the right place for me. But I'm not sure. It's such a huge school, I can't quite believe it. <laughs> How do you feel about the game already, Jerry? <laughs> Gotta go to the classroom first, I guess. Oh! Oh, we got multiple voices. Do we have an item? Student ID card. My student ID card. My student number is 1069-0590. My brother Jack gave it to me this morning. Jerry, <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> This game is breaking, Jerry. The sky. A little bit cloudy, but still pleasant weather today. What a huge billboard. It looks at least five meters high. The school's name is written on it. Motto. Ex incompletus scientia. I don't know what it means, but I think I, I can say scientia is science. <laughs> Feelings. <laughs> This building is too large just, is to just be a school. Jack said there are research labs here too, though. Well, I guess I gotta move. Class 055. <laughs> I'm going into the anti meme class. April 3rd, redacted, 7.30 a.m., Shine Point Academy Hallway. <sighs> I don't know where I am. Where is Classroom 055? Does Classroom 055 even exist? It's not on any of the maps. I can't find it anywhere. What time is it now? It's almost 7.30. Have I just wasted 30 minutes looking for a classroom? Hey, where are you going? I can't believe I wasted almost a half hour. Hey, can't you hear me? How many classrooms are there in the school? Hey, where are you going? Ah! Why are you screaming? Because you yelled at me. I was just trying to get to help you. Why are you wandering around the school? Are you lost? Ah, uh, how'd you know that? It's obvious. You're looking for Classroom 055, right? I yes. How do you know so much about me? Who are you, anyway? <laughs> I'm Karen Linefield. I'm the class president of Classroom 055. Huh? Class president? Wait, I just realized, how the hell are you going to find Classroom 055? If 055 is an anti-meme, would they never be able to find a classroom? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> 
Follow me. I'll take you to our classroom. Uh, okay. Can I trust her? She's kind of weird. Currently, I have no choice, but... Hey, what are you doing? Are you going to stay in the hallway? I I'm coming. Please don't yell at me. Oh, no, a Karen. <laughs> April 3rd, redacted. 7.35 a.m., Cheyenne Point Academy, classroom 055. Here we are. This is our classroom, classroom 055. Th uh, thank you for bringing me here, uh, uh Lionfield. You're welcome. It's one of the class person's jobs, bringing a freshman to the classroom, hee <laughs> hee. Is there a way I can turn down the music? Because even here it is. Oh my gosh. Even at that much volume, the music is loud. Look how far down I dragged it. Jesus. Oh, hello, Sanju. <laughs> well, Jerry, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> and you can call me Karen Winston. Uh, uh, thank you, Karen. Actually, I was called Vinny at my previous school. Vinny. <laughs> That's a funny nickname. Hey, can I call you Vinny too? Yes, I mean, don't... No, don't call me Vinny. Why, Vinny? It's kind of cute. Don't you think, Vinny? Oh, no. That nickname suck already again. Hey, Vinny. Do you want to look around the school? Can't run away from the music. Huh? Uh, no, no, I'll just stay here. Come on, let me guide you. I want to introduce you to my friends. Your, your friends? Yeah, Beatrice and Rachel. They're in classroom 002. The living room. <laughs> Shit, I actually clicked out of the game. Karen's friends. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go. They're usually here at this time. Item. No. Search. Desk. Where's my seat anyway? You can seat wherever you, you want here. R really? That's pretty cool. You ain't seen nothing yet, Vinny. This school has way cooler stuff than just seats. What does it mean? You'll see soon, hee <laughs> hee. Whiteboard. Nothing is written. Teacher's computer. It's off. Is it used for lessons? Yeah, but, but you can't use it. It needs a password. Hmm. Classroom. We're the only ones here. The first class starts at 9 o'clock. Then you'll get to see everyone and meet our homeroom teacher. Mr. Sh Shrelitnikov. Shrelitnikov? Is he Russian? Yes, he is. But he's our history teacher. He's kind of, uh, weird, but a really nice guy. in anime school, I expect at least three mechas and I want to guide you. <laughs> thank, thank you for bringing me here, Karen. Hey, no pro problem. It was no big deal. If you need any help, don't hesitate to let me know. It's very strange that I couldn't find this classroom. It 
is strange, right? It happens every time when a new student comes to our class. That's definitely stri- that, That's definitely strange. I almost gave myself Karen's voice. Who's Beatrice? Is she, is she your friend? We're very old friends. We've known each other since middle school. She's always full of energy and she's really athletic. So she's good at sp so she's good at sports, huh? Oh yes, she is. She has won a lot of prizes at annual sports days. So Vinny, are you good at sports? No, I guess not. Why? Why? Don't you like exercising? Yeah. Well, to be honest, I didn't have much time to do anything like that in my previous school. Sounds like you had a hard time there. Rachel, who is she? Rachel's the smartest student in our school. I'm sure she is, at least. Athletic does not doesn't mean good at sports. <laughs> Fair. She and Beatrice have been in the same class since last year. They sometimes study together in the library after school. Show. Oh, show a student ID card. Will you take a look at it? That's just your ID card. Nothing special about it. Well, I got nothing to do now. Wait, there's just two choices? And gate one. Oh. It's from row 55. To be continuing on the next version. I already beat the damn game! <laughs> I beat both SCP visual novels! <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm gonna put this in an intermission till I figure out what the fuck to do. So just give me a moment. Yeah, okay. Found what it was called. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I mean, how it disappears. I'm expecting someone to shout objection all of a sudden there. <laughs> Oh my gosh.
Hopefully it won't take too long. Alright, I'm getting another game. It's a, actually a very popular game. It's not SCP related though. But, um... It has helped people deal with depression and anxiety and stuff. So, I thought I would just give it a try. Especially since... Alright. Okay, that's fair, Jerry. But, uh... I'm really gonna give it a try, mainly because SCP Unity is filled with bugs and not working well. So, yeah. Okay, so let me go back to Twitch, change the title and everything again. Alright, so I got three minutes remaining on download. Wow, this game downloads fast. Seventy eight percent. Seventy nine percent. Eighty percent. Eighty one percent. Eighty two percent. Eighty three percent. Eighty four percent. Eighty five percent. Eighty six percent. Eighty seven percent. Ninety one per cent. Ninety two per cent. Ninety three per cent. Ninety four per cent. Am I just doing a countdown of percentages? Cause I'm a fucking dumbass. Ninety five per cent. I'm actually really curious about this game. Her is good. Ninety six per cent. Ninety seven per cent.
99%? Done! Yay! Now I just gotta fix the full screen shit. And then I can show on screen. Stream. Or wait. It's already windowed? No, don't crash. Wow, I'm actually surprised it's, it's already put on a window. How is it not picking up? Game capture. Pick it up. There we go. Ooh. Oh. I don't... I am okay. Sound effects volume. Uh, put down there. Put there. Animated text. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Alright. I don't like how it's spacebar instead of enter. But anyway. Let's do the night in the woods. I'll replace this with SCP Unity. And here, Granddad died. Well, that's an interesting way to start the story. <laughs> we had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped. On top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat. And I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories. And quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They feared death. They went, oh, I can choose. They went looking for good gods. On their wings and their trees. They fear they fear death. They went looking for gods. I want to do something nice at least. Look for gods. And their wings and their trees. All things die, be at peace. What the fuck? Nice poem though. On his last day, he sat up suddenly. He stared bug-eyed through the window. At an empty, old empty mill. At the old playground. At the old parking lots. At the old trains. I think I'll do it at the old playground. The old playground. Half washed away. He turned to my dad. His eyes still wide. This house is haunted. He said, and died. Whenever hear someone mentions the 90s, I immediately start feeling old. <laughs> well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything. But I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Okay, so this is... Oh. Wow, when did they put this up? Boston Springs has never looked more... Falsely advertised. <laughs> Must be a relief to payphone companies that Boston Springs gets zero cell reception. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be cool. it'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerk hole took the time to actually rip it off. <laughs> yep. I, I, I already like May. 
who steals a phone. Fiasso Fox, you're you're too dreamy. Can't go that way. Herpo and Malloy? Welcome back to Gar Garbo and Malloy. What's in the news today, Malloy? Markets were up today. Way up. Looking at the chart, it's pretty impressive. The economy added 15,000 jobs. Mostly in the chart sector. Which is notorious recession proof. My, my, Garbo, we got a little a political there. Gotta get political every now and then. I went one of those internet internet dates last week. Oh. The yeah, internet is truly giving is a truly giving lover. Is that it? Hey, any love ladies out there looking for an eligible bachelor? <laughs> Get in touch. And I'll let you know if I find one. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 10.45, it's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Puzzle Springs these days. Just you. Isn't there supposed to be someone at the desk? So are you the janitor or something? Is there some... Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. So I can't go that way. And I can't go this way. Yes, taunts. Can I, can I squeeze past you? Nope. Just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after, right after you go grab me a Fiesta Cola from the machine. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice. Free as in free? Free, free as in no one, no one's here to say otherwise. What the? They have Lion Fiasco and he wants a yes a cola? That's just a waste. Okay. Just gotta grab it. Oh, I actually grab it. That's weird. That's an interesting thing. I wasn't expecting that. One Fiesta Cola. Really? <laughs> You're that lazy to open up the can to use the fucking trail? <laughs> Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Huh. Strange. What do you think that door is going to be finished? Now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and Dad nowhere to be found. Dark and cold. Guess I'm walking. Alone. Wait, what? Bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got the state funding or something. Makes good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for an abandoned glass factory back there. 
not getting rid of that anytime soon. Oh. Sorry. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. Oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. Am I negligent parents? Oh no, no, May, no, no. Ugh, this is some dank nature. Thank nature and garbage. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there's there's called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Ah, uh, gonna have to climb this, I guess. This is. This was a rally, a night in the woods. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's not supposed to do that. Well, that worked. Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. I'm not gonna die in this hole. Yeah. Parkour champion. Oh. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. And apparently no one else has. I don't know what what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. It's the thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. Wow. Okay, May. Oh, come on. I don't think I have the upper body strength to climb this. Oh, can I... Can I go up here? Ahoy! Looks like the ladder's gone. If I could just get to the top of this thing. Ugh. I couldn't never make it up to that tree when I was a kid. The number of logs mocked me. The logs and other and the other kids. Let me see if I can visualize this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't stop running when I do while I do this. Not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. How? Made the second jump. You look. Why can I not make that jump? Okay, that was a fuck up.
You... Excuse me. Excuse me. But a certain... You literally can't make that jump. It's too tall. Nope. Can't grab onto that and make it fall. There's gotta be a way on that ledge. I am getting confused now. Are you familiar with Mario 64's jump? <laughs> no. The problem is I... No! Oh, I can triple jump. Do I have to constantly run to do it? Like, I, got, I gotta be non-stop. Aha! Okay, I had to be non-stop. Okay, that's that's how I had to do it. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Fossil Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Rip granddad, your parents have forgot you. What the fuck, all oh, May? Uh, can I? I don't. I don't know what to do. Oh. Oh, careful. Careful. Ouch. Hello, May. It's been a while. Note, sa note it says your parents, right? Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds when I saw you in the very off-limits playground. So? Get in my car, May. No. You want to spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Hey, remember me? Ugh. May, you, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested. By on small cop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi for no one. F the cops. Oh my god! <laughs> Based me. Based me. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Ah, oh, man. It's so good to hear that voice again. Good night. Wow, you are a real piece of shit, aren't you? Oh. 
There are a few things hanging around here from the old country. This clock, the trunk, and the, and the storage room, and whatever is buried under the house after a cement accident, incident. Oh! Uh, What's this? Ugh. Since when is the cross space all jammed up? Where if Dad could move them? Okay, there we go. Can't go to Spike, but there's nothing over here. Oh, poor May. I, I, I feel for you, May. We're both in similar situations. I feel for you. Could play some bass, but which song? Nah, later. Space Dragon. Wander in space. <laughs> no matter for been in place. Space Dragon. What? The fuck? Two, 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 four, two, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, two, one, four, one. Fuck. Fuck! so fuck! This is hard! I'm not good at rhythm games! Fuck! I'm not good at rhythm games! How do I escape this? I am terrible at rhythm games. So I am sorry about how bad that is. But it's not over? It's not over? Fuck. Damn it. Why you'll never catch me playing a fucking rhythm game. That's a wrong note. Any wrong notes? Am I finally done? Finally! I literally do not know this song. <laughs> or if I've been di different, if I'm actually good for the games. Oh. 
I was so cute then. We are all so cute then. Cuties, a lot of us. We could have a traveling show, the cute bro Broskies. Honey? Yeah. Come see me in the kitchen before you leave. Okay. Oh, it is a different person. Okay. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Sorry we mixed up the day you were coming back. It was such a short notice. It's okay, Mom. May, honey? Yeah? Is everything okay? Yeah. What do you mean? Honey, did something happen? I just need to come home. Well, sweetie, I think you can understand my worry. That's not usually something a college sophomore just up and does. I know. Honey, you can tell me if something happened. Mom, I'm fine, really. Can we talk about this another time? Sure, honey. It's okay. Thanks, Mom. I bet your old friends will be happy to see ya. you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Oh yeah, Greg's working down at the Snack Falcon. Up in town, Century West, but it... Click, clack. I think I'll run over and say hi. We have a Snack Falcon now? Oh, oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out. The food donkey's gone? Oh yeah, going gone going on almost a year now. Ah, where do, where does everyone shop? Everyone goes out to Ham Panther out by the highway now. But I see your little friend Greg when I go into town. Wow, the food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Well, have a good time out there. Lots to explore. See what's changed. I will. Just watch out for all the construction. Well, it wouldn't be fall in Possible Springs without loads of construction. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Bye, sweetie. Part 1, home again. Oh good, I didn't already beat the game. <laughs> like with the other... Shit. Yeah, that means I'll go back inside. Well, it sure is fall. All the road work crammed in before winter. More like half the town inaccessible. I guess you want to try walk the long way around. For like 20 minutes. Which I mean, no. So I can't go that way. Kill, kill, kill. FBI, freeze. Hey, Mr. Twig Mayor. Mayor. May, is that you? Sure is. You home for a visit? No, I'm home for good. What? Not that college anymore. Now nope, it burnt down. <laughs> Not for me, at least. Well, I always thought you'd either go on and do great things, or sit on on your ass until it put down roots. Ass roots? Guess I can settle that one in my mind. See you around. Summers! What you doing back? Doing home? Dropped out. Wow. Yeah, I guess. So, like, you just 
don't go back. That's about it. Weird. I'm not gonna talk to those guys because I don't want to keep doing voices. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Till I meet my friends. Fact pocket pot. Tell is soft. What? And where exactly do you find I'm going? Oh. Market house. Oh. I think I have a great great uncle or something on this. Yep, there you go. Anselm Broski. Broski. Anselm. Even in life he was tragic. Oh, wait. Big skeleton. Video outputs two. Two? Is that like two? Or like also? This is an error so bad, even I wouldn't make it. Social Security Administration. <laughs> oh no. Let's leave. Oh, that's Miller's. Ah, Snack Falcon. Found it. Oh. My. God. Hey, Greg. What you doing here? I'm back. Like, back as in today? Back as in back. Too bad you didn't die at college. Too bad you didn't catch a flesh-eating disease. Too bad you didn't join a murder cult. Too bad you didn't lose all your limbs. In a freak soda machine accident. God, it's good to see ya. How's Angus? You, you two still a thing? Hold on. Where are you go? What are you doing? Changing the music. What? Angus? What are you doing here? I live here. Since when? Since last night, 11 or so? That's amazing. Come to band practice. Oh my god, the band is still a thing? Sure. When's practice? Now. When do you get off work? Now. Really? Ah, no, don't make me do the rhythm game thing again. Hi, Angus. Hey, it's you. It's me. It's me. Ah. So, the party barn went out, huh? Yeah, not sure how it ev ever stayed open. Like, how many parties are there, really? We need a lot of parties to keep a pa barn running. I have your own bass! Oh. Dude, I don't even... I don't think I even remember. Hey, B... B uh, May's back. Wow, hi. Yeah, hi. She's totally back! Wait, what? 
Are you, uh, here for band practice? I play drums. That's just, that's not drums. That's a, that's computer. It's fine. She also does your bass parts. Well, I understood them as the bass parts. But I can turn them off. Turn them off on your computer? Man, you were totally gonna play a, a song. You totally have to play bass. I don't even remember. Those aren't, aren't even drums. No! No, not again! Fuck. The music's really good. Fuck. But I hate this. I hate rhythm games. I can't concentrate on multiple shit happening at once. What? That's why I don't play Friday Night Pumpkin. <laughs> Cause I'd fail immediately. Shit! I hit the wrong record. Fuck! 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 Damn it! I'm preparing for you to make fun of me, but I don't care. I've already admitted to hating rhythm games. What the fuck is this shit? I can't concentrate. So much shit here. When does the song end? Told you. Wow, May, that was uh pretty bad is what it is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Holy crap. That was hard to do. You'll get back in practice. No, I won't, because I suck at rhythm games. <laughs> Don't make me play rhythm games more, please. I hope, jeez. My wrist hurts. That was great, man. Just seen you back. Playing your old horrible bass. <laughs> so fuck you. <laughs> okay, are we doing this diner thing? Yeah. Woo! Yay. Hip, hip. Don't tell me we're actually doing. Okay. Mmm. Hell yeah, do you miss Pizza May? They have pizza at school. Oh, cool. This pizza isn't great. I mean, oh, that was wrong for voice. Fuck. It's, it's pretty horrible. Dudes, haven't you heard of the pizza scale? A what? It's a, it's a scale. There's a scale of pizza. On one end, there's the worst pizza. But like everything right above that, 
it's still really good. What's the other... What's the other end of the scale? It's pizza all the way up. Pizza good. Oh no, we can't get it. I mean... I mean... It's no possibilities. Hmm, I miss possibilities. I'm not good touching those crusts. Dang. We should we should have gone to possibilities. The diner has ambience. The seat the seats are comfy. The food is terrible, but it's got charm. You too fancy the diner now. Guys, please. I was raised in this diner. <laughs> you and like a zillion rats. So, when are we gonna play out? <clears throat> May, we don't play out. Oh. We have jobs, May. I work at Video Outpost, Outpost 2. I met the old pickaxe. Thought you were going to school. I thought you were going to school. Heh. <laughs> yeah, well, life happens. I'm the lord of the snack falcons. Alright, I already like I, I, I already love him. I lo I love the dog guy. I love him. Where's Casey? Oh yeah, you wouldn't know, huh? Casey's gone. Gone? Gone how? Hop the train, I bet. Oh wow, he always talked about doing that. Yeah, one day he was just gone. Made a clean break. Hasn't mailed, emailed, or anything. Well, good for him, I guess. His parents put up missing person posters. But everyone knew what happened. Jeez, Casey. I, huh. Mm-hmm. And what exactly do you do, May? I was in college. Fox is so hyperactive, he's lovely. I know, I love him. <laughs> and why exactly are you... And why exactly are you... Are you still there? Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I fucked that up sentence. Word salad. And why exactly are you still not there? Man, screw... Man, screw school. Didn't work out. Huh. Imagine that. Well, we better get home, dude. Oh yeah, Angus got a date with with sword people online. <laughs> well, I know what the game what that reference is. Aw, lucky. It's really great to be back. Dude, we can hang out every day. Oh my god. Holy crap. What? Is that an arm? It's an arm. Nobody move. Let's poke it with a stick. <laughs> gosh damn it. <laughs> of course that's your first fucking reaction. <laughs> I call first. May, this is like tampering with evidence. Ugh. Am I gonna have to start worrying? About getting dismembered on the way home. Shh! I wanna watch this! I don't. You don't need your ears to watch. Shh!
Wait, what? Whoa, what's that? Them coming to Mark. What? That's a That's. Is that a tattoo? That's a tattoo. What is it? I think he just slewed out a clue, dude. Oh, for F's sake, you two. Here come the cops. Now what's... Now what's going on here? Uh-oh. Hey, Aunt Molly. We found an arm. Alright. Alright, May. Put the stick down and step away from the arm. Alright, alright. Don't taser me or anything. No promises. Well, fuck you, you bristle shit. Oh, well, I think it's time for Angus and I to get home. See you tomorrow, May. Alright. I don't want any of you walking home alone tonight. Buddy system, something bad's going on. I can drive, drive me home, officer. Thank you, B. Yeah, thanks, B. Let's roll. So... Working at the old pickaxe? Yep. Are they training you to take over the family business? They? Um, your parents? Hey, look, we're he. Hey, look, we're here. Oh, my house is actually isn't for a few blocks. Get out. Okay. Oh. Thanks for the ride. Go. <laughs> Arm. Delicious. Hey, kitten. Rawr. Listen, May, I'm sorry about last night. I really thought you were coming home tonight. It's okay, I guess. You know me with the bad memory. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I mean, you do pretty well. Yeah, I remember to eat and breathe. You're really good at, like, remembering how to walk. I'm a champ. Tell you what. How about we pretend I did come home tonight? We just got back from the bus station. Start over? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, Dad. Hey, May. Thanks for picking me up. Welcome home, May. I want to go to sleep, I think. Well, you have you've had a big day. Good night, kitten. Mom, Dad still looks older. Still funny though. As long as I don't have to do rhythm games again, I'll be fine. Bedtime? Uh, yes. Oh. Wait. Who the fuck stole my base? Wow, it's been literally 36 hours since I've been online. This shall not stand.
Egg. No. What is wrong with you? Damn it. I bet Angus knows how to fix this. It's he's all computery. I think. But I can't let him see this. Where does he work again? He works at that computer place. Yeah, it's back it's gonna show back the computer shit. I think that's going to be it for today. So, I hope you D-Class enjoyed... The... My three games I did this stream. And, uh, hope to see you guys next time for next experiment. Well, hold on, wait a minute. Let me check something real quick. Yep, okay, they're still alive, so, uh, hold on one moment. Alright. 